So if you're pulled over, don't try to figure out whether or not the officer has probable cause to legally search you. You always have the right to refuse searches. I don't consent to searches. But they're gonna search us anyway. Sometimes they will, but saying no isn't just about stopping the search. It might stop the search or it might not. Cross your legs. The point is that refusing the search could help you later if you end up in court. If the police search you without consent, your lawyer can challenge that. As your attorney, I'd be much more likely to win your case if you said no to the search. If I do not consent, when are police allowed to search my car? You mentioned probable cause. <laughs> what does that mean? Probable cause means police must have clear facts or evidence to believe you're involved in criminal activity. In other words, an officer's hunch without evidence of illegal activity is not enough to search or arrest you. But it doesn't take much. Most avoidable police searches happen not because police have probable cause. They happen because people get tricked or intimidated into consenting. So an expired registration isn't probable cause to search my car? No, it's not. But you still gotta be careful. Courts are eager to uphold police searches, so something suspicious about you or your car could be considered probable cause. I'm not the kind of guy to tell you how you should express yourself. Expressing yourself is one thing, but exposing yourself to police by being a public nuisance is ignorant. Rule number six, don't expose yourself.